that would have been today's video and it was gonna be a really good one <laughs> but that is not today's video because if you follow me on Instagram I poured my heart out and told you guys of my major stuff up where like 20 files you know video files did not transfer from my camera to my computer and they are gone gone so I needed to come up with a backup and I got a whole bunch of beautiful suggestions from you guys uh, over on Instagram and Facebook and a whole bunch of hearts and feeling sad and sorry for me and thank you very much <laughs> I needed it oh I haven't even told you what I'm doing this video is in collaboration with Marissa over on Miss Flips. A whole bunch of us are doing an Earth Day celebration flip. I know Earth Day was a few weeks ago, but this is the first time that a bunch of us had some time on our calendar to make space and join in with her in making over a piece of furniture, celebrating Earth Day. Yesterday, I started another project and then this morning I came in, I was like, I'm not feeling it. <laughs> so what I have landed on is this guy. I picked up that dresser set. I can't wait to do that one and show you guys that video. And when I was picking it up, the lady had this bed head sitting up against the dresser set. So I ended up getting the bed head from her as well. So if you want to know what I end up doing with this bed head today, <laughs> stick around and let's get into it. The plan. The plan is to turn this beautiful bed head and it is lovely. I love the shape of it. I love the um, caning in it. It's great and it's a great structure. I'm going to be making a bench out of it for my front porch. I made a bench a few months ago and I sold it and immediately regretted it because it would have looked fantastic on my front porch. So I've been looking for something to put on my front porch. Earth Day recycling, reusing is right up my alley. I love to do that. I love saving pieces of furniture from the dump. So. This bed head was definitely on its way to the dump. It is going to serve me and my family perfectly by making seating for us on the front porch. So I am going to be using two two by threes today to make a frame for where we will be sitting our butt cheeks on. And I'm also going to be reusing two legs, I think. I hope I can do it. We'll see. I'm going to be reusing two legs for the front. So first things first, let's frame it out. So I use up every bit of this piece of wood. I'm going to cut the size so the seat has a depth of 18 inches. abandoned the side table legs they weren't going to be strong enough so I'm still using the two two by threes that I had I need two side pieces two legs and one front because I'm going to be drilling it into the bed head because this is a solid piece of wood if it wasn't solid I would have to do a second one of these I don't want to make the bench heavier than it needs to be and you know my dad always taught me that if if 
if you can use what you have, what's on it, then do that rather than, you know, sometimes you frame stuff out just for framing and it's unnecessary. So I felt like doing a second one of these, it was unnecessary for the back. Okay, so I'm just going to dry, dry fit it now and then I can pencil mark my pocket holes. Hole screws <laughs> and the long, my long blue ones. So, make and do. Extra insurance, I'm just going to come in. I've pre drilled a hole. With a ridiculously long screw in. Whew, all four. The back. I'm going to be using Zinza Prime Coat 2. It's a prime and sealer, and it says. It's good for glossy trim, which that at the back is glossy, and um, it also says that it's good for untreated wood. I gotta sand that, <laughs> scuff sand. Alrighty, I am going to prime the untreated wood. This is gonna go while it's a covered porch. It still will get wet you know, sideways rain and all that jazz. DIY paint in cake batter. Look at this color. I feel like a very earth-friendly paint is definitely DIY paint. It is nine ingredients plus love. <laughs> um, so it's like water, clay, porcelain clay, chalk, alcohol, ester, ester, cellulose pigments, and a preservative. So nine ingredients, no VOCs, water-based. Easy cleanup, stunning colors. Okay, my brush with my brush. Dry brush going in, putting the paint on the ground because you know me, I don't want to 
drop the thing and then I will cry. If you guys are enjoying this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, uh, hit that subscribe button and join me every week as I flip pieces of furniture just like this. And remember to check out the playlist below. I've linked it. I cannot wait to check out everybody's pieces. So go ahead guys and click on that link after you have finished watching this video. In some places you can see the primer underneath, but I want that. It's all part of it. It's looking really good. I am gonna let that dry overnight, come back tomorrow. We're gonna put the seat part of it on. And I don't think I mentioned this in the intro, but we're gonna be making those out of wood pallets. Oh, one more thing. I put my brushes in a Ziploc bag and I don't rinse them out to the end of my project. I can't even tell you how many times I've thought, oh no, I'm done with that. I'm gonna rinse my brush out and not, I'm not done with my project yet. And then thought, oh, I should not have rinsed my brush out. I could use just a touch up here or a touch up there before I top coat it. <laughs> Getting every bit of paint out of a pot is important to me. So there you go. There's a little earth tip for you, a little eco money saving tip. <laughs> I'm going to be using DIY, they call it dark and decrepit. I am going to be doing a twofer with this product. I am going to be aging it, which is what you can see me doing right now. So I'm using it as a glaze slash sort of wax. It is more of a glaze consistency. It is their um, like dark brown patina, liquid patina. And you just simply put it all on and I have watched a couple of videos. My favorite video was by Dion over on the turquoise iris. And she just simply put it on, put it everywhere that she wanted it and then sprayed it and wiped it back. And that's what I'm going to be doing to age this piece. And then I'm going to be using it as a stain on the wood palettes, but you'll see that later on. Getting in all the nooks and crannies. But I like it. I like it all. Oh no, I've got to spray it first. <laughs>
Okay, so I'm gonna be using a water-based top coat, Verithane. I have it in semi-gloss. I am going for full protection on this piece because like I said, it's gonna be outside. I'm really happy with it, happy with the way it's looking, looking aged and distressed. That cake batter, Color by DIY, is so beautiful uh, on its own and just aging it has just, for me, taken it up next level. I'd love to do a piece just in the cake batter though, just yellow sometime because it's such a pretty delicate color. She has a cone on her head because she got a scratch, but um, she's not she's not too happy about the cone. Um, what was I saying? For this, because I need it max maximum protection, I'm going to be using Verithane. It's a water-based product, which is water cleanup, water and soap cleanup. Thank you so much, Marissa, for the invitation to join you in doing an Earth Day uh, flip. I had so much fun. It was definitely made me more conscious about what I used and is it earth friendly and am I recycling and am I being, you know, uh, what's the word? Am I being more sustainable in how I go about flipping these pieces? And I do try my best to do that. This flip was most definitely the most eco-friendly I think that I have done. Reusing a bed head, wood pallets, wood pieces that I already had. Then you can't get more eco-friendly than that DIY paint. Um, it's clay and chalk based paint and it is amazing and I love it so much. You guys know that already about me. Um, and then the water based primer and top coat you know using those sorts of things are really good ways of keeping harsher chemicals out of our water systems right and um, out of our dumps tips or I'm not sure what you guys call them in America it's escaped me <laughs> in my brain maybe you call them tips anyway yeah so this was such a great challenge and I'm excited to get this guy on my front porch when my paint cabinet <laughs> files didn't copy over. It was as good a time as any to do that bench that I wanted to do, have been wanting to do ever since I sold it. So I'm keen to get this on my front porch. Let me know in the comments, you guys, what did you think? 
And how would you have used a bed head? I'm curious to know. I may take some of your ideas and and do them on this channel just to see if I can, you know, produce what it is that you <laughs> envision. So let me know how you would reuse a bed head. I'm curious. All right, you guys, next week's piece. It's sitting right there. I'm so excited to share it with you. It is something I haven't done on my channel before, so hit that subscribe button and the bell notification and you'll get notified when it goes up. And I hope to see you on that video. Bye you guys.